Hello guys, it's Xiaomi and welcome to my YouTube channel. So on today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of underrated makeup. Makeup that deserves more in the spotlight. I feel like these products definitely need more love, need more exposure because they are just... But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to know how to do this makeup look and also if you want to find out some new makeup you probably want to try this 2020, then keep on watching. So to prep my skin, I'm going to be using this Eborian CC Red Correct and I really love this. This is actually the travel size versions, but you can get huge versions of this and it's basically, if you guys are familiar with the CC Cream by Eborian, this is basically one of the new ones and this one is, it has a green cream to it and it basically corrects redness on your skin and it evens out your skin tone as well. But I just dot this all over my face. What I love about this is that you can use it on its own or you can use it underneath makeup. It almost adds like this new layer of complexion that is just a little bit more even than my actual skin. It just evens it out. Look at that, it just gets rid of like redness, it evens out the skin tone a little bit more. It's one of those creams as well that adapts to your skin tone so it doesn't have different shades or anything. It's just a one shade fits all. The next up is foundation. This one is by Bare Minerals and this one is the Bare Pro foundation. And I love this product. I also think it's like a really perfect match. If you've got similar skin tone, like Asian skin tone like me with the yellow undertone, I feel like Sandstone 16 is an amazing match. But I love this because it just matches. Look at that my skin tone perfectly. You can already see like the yellow undertone and it's great because it's buildable coverage and it just it just doesn't cake up and it also doesn't oxidize and I also like it because on the sides I'm very dry on the side of my face but very oily in the center of my face. This I feel like it offers enough moisture but it also offers it's like a perfect balance so it doesn't dry out my face and it also doesn't look too oily throughout the day it also gives a really nice flawless coverage or like a really nice flawless finish like this foundation it's amazing and if you like foundations that are not that doesn't feel too heavy on the face it kind of like just like very like lightweight foundation and i feel like you'll really enjoy this one like i said it's not a drying foundation so it still adds a little bit of that glow and it still keeps a little bit of that moisture but it doesn't go oily, if that makes sense. I don't know, I really like the formulation, formulation? I really like the formula of this foundation. So now I'm just going to be blending that with my beauty blender, just to make sure that I blend out all the streaks from the foundation brush earlier. Okay, so next up is concealer. This one is by Purr. I never know how to say this brand, it's either Purr or Pure. So this one is the four in one Love Your Selfie Long Wear Foundation and Concealer and I'm in the shade LN5 for this one. It comes, I believe, in a foundation size bottle but this one is just a little tiny sample and I love this one because it's two in one and again, it's one of those products that doesn't cake up and it just has like a really, really nice coverage. It gives a really nice like airbrush finish and it blends like a dream just like the just like the bare minerals foundation and i like it because if you're in a rush and you don't really have time to do the whole nine like foundation concealer bake and all that jazz this one is a two-in-one so you can literally grab your perfect shade and just whack it all over the face and call it a day give it a setting lovely jubbly so to set my face this powder you will absolutely love this I mean it gives a really nice flawless finish and it also helps to really up all the oil you know but this one is basically the Shiseido synchro skin invisible silk loose powder and I feel like that's what it does to my skin I feel like it gives like a really nice flawless silky finish without it having like a white cast or like a flashback whenever you take photos but something in this that kind of just crystallizes and just makes the skin look super flawless it's so good i just kind of like pat it on and the good thing about this powder i feel is that you don't exactly have to bake because the powder is so fine you can top it up throughout the day or you can just press it into the skin with a fluffy brush like this and then it just sets your makeup you can even just go straight in 
and it doesn't add too much and then just tap a little bit out but it just applies the perfect amount onto the brush and then I just tap it on areas that I tend to shine look at that base like it's almost like a photoshopped kind of look but it doesn't look cakey at all it doesn't look too powdery and then for extra coverage and extra setting I have been through about probably more than five of this honestly this is my holy 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 grail powder of all times I've been using this for I think three years now ever since I discovered it this one is the pure cosmetics four-in-one pressed mineral makeup and it's basically a powder foundation I use this powder on a daily with me with full beat without full beat but it adds extra coverage without it caking up the face and it's the same effect with the Shiseido product it gives like an airbrush finish it gives like a really nice silky smooth finish if you guys are into minimal makeup or if you just want like an everyday makeup but still a little bit of coverage with a really even complexion and a powder that doesn't cake up that doesn't crack that doesn't settle into your fine lines give this a go because I feel like you'll really enjoy this so the next one is bronzer this one is really really loved by me as you can see it's a little bit beaten up right now because I've used it so much but this one is the matte radiance baked powder from Laura Mercier it just doesn't go patchy and it blends it almost melts into the skin it's so nice and this has got to be my favorite bronzer of all time like like it does what it says it's basically a radiance bronzer and it just melts into the skin so I just like to put this just like so and it gives like a really really nice like a natural bronze we also like to put it underneath my jawline see it just kind of like melts into the skin so it's not too dark or anything like that and it's just really nice and like natural looking Ta -da! and if you want more highlight this highlight I cannot recommend enough this one is by elf cosmetics and elf cosmetics really kills it with a highlight this one is in white gold and it's so so pigmented for the price and just look at that just look at that glow guys for the price of this drugstore brand I absolutely love their highlight just adds a really nice pop and it's very glowy looking okay so to set the face I'm using this little cute setting spray this one is pocket bunny by Tony Moly and I used this on one of my Instagram videos and I believe someone said that it's not a setting spray but I don't know I really like it I think it gives a really nice moisture to the skin and it just melts all the makeup together and it's so cute look at it but I thought it's worth a mention because it does a really good job for me and if you like a demi matte finish then I think you'd really enjoy this setting spray because it's not too strong it's really gentle to the skin and it makes your skin feel plumped and it doesn't make it feel like it's cracking or anything if you really like a nice top up of a mist throughout the day I think this is really nice because it's handbag friendly it's quite small so it can fit into a handbag and you can just carry it around sometimes I carry it around and I just like to top up throughout the day and it's really nice so for brows, I'm actually going to hop out of camera to do my brows because I haven't yet found a really good brow product that is underrated. Benefit Cosmetics is my favourite go-to brow product, so I feel like that's not an underrated makeup. So I'm going to hop off camera, do my brows, and then hop back on. Okay, so my brows are on. Hello, brows. Now time for the eyes. I'm going to be prepping my eyes with the Per Cosmetics 4-in-1 concealer as well. And I'm just going to be dotting this just like this, just one swipe on each eye and then with a flat brush I'm just gonna spread that concealer okay so now that the eyes are set and prepped now time for the eyeshadows and these eyeshadows are honestly I feel like they're not getting enough spotlight that they deserve these are the elf cosmetics eyeshadows and they are honestly so good they are so pigmented so I'm gonna use this one this one is the modern metals and I'm just gonna be using this shade right here as a transition to start off the look almost like a medium brown shade I'm just working it on my crease and I absolutely love these eyeshadow palettes because it has really good pigments it has minimal to no fallout and it blends like a dream I love it also some of the palettes has mirrors inside 
So I absolutely love that, so it's really handy. And once the transition is on, I'm just grabbing this blue shade from the same palette. And it's a really nice matte cobalt blue. And I'm gonna be applying it with a E42 Sigma Precision Firm Blender. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to be patting it onto the lids first. I'm just gonna be following the crease of my eye and I'm going to be making almost like a semicircle. Semicircle. <laughs> Then I'm just going to be filling in the lids with the same colour. The trick is as well to get the shadow really, really bold is to pat the colour on rather than swiping it. I feel like you get more colour payoff doing it that way. Wow. And then with a smaller blending brush, this one is by Sigma E36. I'm just going to be blending out the edges of that crease. Then I'm going to go in with a metallic blue shade from the Atis Vibes palette and I'm going to be grabbing this shade right here. It's a really nice metallic blue shade and it's super pretty. And then I'm just going to be putting this on the three quarters of my lids. Very precise. Three quarters. And then some really, really good glitters that is not really spoken about that much. This is the Linker Care Glitter and I really like this because it's so nice and shimmery. And then this one is also by Go Get Glitter, which is also another glitter brand. Almost aqua blue glitter. And this one is almost like a sky blue glitter by Linker Care. So I'm just gonna grab my NYX Cosmetics Glitter Glue. I'm going to add a little bit at the back of my hand, just like so. I'm going to grab a mini crease fluff brush by Stilatsi. It's going to be stippling that glue on. And then I'm going to be applying this glitter just three, is this three quarter, like a quarter in from the inner corner. And then I'm going to be spreading it out around this area too. I'm going to concentrate mostly in the inner parts. And then I'm going to be working it in the middle. Also at the top right here. And then also a little bit just on the outer here, but I'm not going to be passing this line. So basically where I put on that metallic shadow earlier, that's where I'm going to be concentrating most of the glitter on. And then I'm going to use this sky blue glitter from Linker Care onto the inner parts first. See how like it has like a really nice shine whenever it hits the light. I'm obsessed with this glitter. And I'm just gonna be working it outwards as well just so that it's nice and so that it's nice and spread. So it has like a starry effect to it. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Just look at that glitter. Compared to this eye, this this glitter is just amazing. And whenever it hits the light, it's like stars. It's like little stars on my eyes. I love it. Oh my gosh, this glittery eye is giving me vibes. This glittery eye is giving me happiness. Okay, so to finish off the eye look, I'm just gonna be grabbing, I'm just gonna be grabbing that same cobalt blue matte shade. And I'm just gonna be putting this on my lower lashes to complete the eye look. Because I want to make that blue really pop, I'm just gonna grab this eyeliner from NARS. This one is, what is your shade, my dear? Ocean Drive. It's like a really nice metallic blue eyeliner. And it's super pretty, so I'm just gonna be putting this on my lower lash line. So for lashes, I know this is quite hyped. I haven't found any underrated lashes yet, but if you know any lashes that's worth trying, comment in the section down below, because I'd love to try out some new lashes. But these are the Tatty Lashes in the style TL9. And I love this because it's super wispy, but it's really nice with really glam looks like this. So for lips, I'm gonna be grabbing the Lip Liner by Gosh Cosmetics. And Gosh Cosmetics is basically a really nice, affordable drugstore brand from Superdrug. And they have like a lot of affordable makeup. I really love their lip liners from there. And here I'm using the shade Nougat. And 
And I love this lip liner because it's so creamy. Some lip liners literally just feel like pencil, like ones that you write your freaking maths homework with. But this one is so creamy and it's just, it's just really nice. It's like a really nice drugstore product. And another drugstore product I really love is by Soap and Glory. This one is Sexy Mother Pucker. <laughs> Naughty. And this one is in the shade Bare Enough. What's great about this lip gloss is that it has like a slight tingling effect. It's not really harsh tingling effect where like your lips are gonna fall off, but it just makes you wanna pout. Like it just makes you wanna like, plumpy. Mm, mm, it's like a plumping lip gloss, but really subtle, but it still makes your lips like. So here is the finished makeup using underrated makeup. Let me know in the comment section down below which underrated makeup you guys are obsessed with, which ones do you love, which ones are worth trying. I love trying out new makeup, so make sure to leave a comment down below, some new suggestions. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big fat thumbs up if you have enjoyed it, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos from me, and also the notification bell so you don't miss an upload, and I will see you on the next one. Bye! Face. <clears throat> My voice is very croaky. Rub it. <clears throat> Four in one line by per cos by pure cosmetic by per. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Ooh, uh, yes, I drink hot coffee. Yes. <laughs> yes.